If there was one quality besides many others that Jesus possessed, it was the quality of fearlessness. In the gospel of today, we read how he is told that Herod wants to kill him. Herod was the tetrarch at the time of Jesus and was named Herod Antipas. He was a person who was threatened both by John the Baptist who proclaimed that Jesus would come and by Jesus himself whom Herod regarded as the reincarnation of John the Baptist. And so Herod wants to kill Jesus like he killed John before him. Herod had John beheaded because John had complained to Herod about his kind of life. He had challenged him to live a virtuous life. He had challenged him to live a life close to God. He had challenged him to live a life in which he did not oppress but loved the people under his charge. Herod, of course, did not want to do that. He preferred the broad dough. And so instead of hearing what John had to say and acting on John's instructions, Herod instead had him beheaded. And now Jesus was saying something very similar and even beyond what John the Baptist was saying. And Herod could not bear that, could not hear that, could not accept that. And so Herod wants to kill Jesus and Jesus is told about this threat. However, Jesus will not be cowed down by threats. Jesus will not be put under by any individual because Jesus knows who he is and what he stands for. Jesus was the truth, contained the truth and communicated the truth and the truth he knew would always prevail. Today, it is not easy to stand up for the truth. It's not easy to go against the majority. It's not easy always to say what is in our minds and our hearts for fear of the repercussions. The gospel text of today and the example of Jesus is calling us to this fearlessness. Fearlessness where we speak what we believe in. Fearlessness where we can prove what we are saying. Fearlessness where there is evidence of our words. Fearlessness where we let go of everything knowing that humans can hardly hurt us when God is in charge. Jesus was aware that even if Herod threatened him, Herod could never lay a hand on him if it had not been ordained by God. And so he could be fearless and could continue not only to speak the truth, not only to communicate the truth, but to be the truth himself. Will you, as a follower of the truth, dare to speak the truth today? fearlessly.